USB-C, that's nice. Same as the Xbox. And this is the stand, I'm guessing, for upright. I don't know about you guys, but where I live in Canada, it's been impossible to buy a PS5. I got my PS4 over there, still kicking. It's, um, I bought the Series X, even though I'm a PlayStation guy, just because I couldn't get a PS5. But now I got both. So I'm happy with that. A moment of truth. And there she is. I'm too scared to do this one-handed. Give me uh, one moment. And there she is. Gotta put her on her stand and get all this stuff organized. Got the two controllers, uh, came with uh, the wireless headset. 1100 Canadian, also came with Gran Turismo and a $40 gift card as well. But yeah, that's what you pay for these nowadays if anyone's curious. 1150, I think, Canadian, so it's, you know, probably pretty, this is wireless too, so I'm happy with that, but yeah, 1150 Canadian probably 800 american for this kit but i think that's a pretty good price for an extra controller a headset a hundred dollar game almost and uh yeah so it's a pretty good deal to me and then you just got your hdmi USB-C to charge your controllers uh the second controller didn't come with a, another USB-C, which i was kind of surprised about they used to and then the same old generic, pretty much the same as the PS4 charger. And then you got this stand here. I'll set it up on this and show you guys that. All right, guys. So I got it mounted on its stand. I'm going to have it in the upright position. Uh, it's not too difficult to put the stand on. It just clips to the back of here. And then there's a screw in the stand when you turn it that... Uh, you just screw into the bottom. You can just finger tighten it. That's all I did. Uh, it's a it's a flathead screwdriver, but uh, it's got the grip on it to, to finger tight it. So yeah, I'll uh, let you guys know when it's booted up. All right, guys, and this is it set up. That's all the boxes from everything. Two controllers, headphones, probably gonna link these and the controllers. Let's power it up. Oh, that's a nice sight to see. Let's turn this light off. Look at that, look at that. All right, well, I'm gonna sync these controllers up, add my profile, and then I'll give you guys a tour of the home screen. This is the PS5. Let's get some games downloaded. All right, guys, so this is the following day. Uh, I downloaded a bunch of games onto here. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V, free with PlayStation Plus right now. Got that. Borderlands 3 I had on the PS4. Got a free PS5 upgrade. Enlisted PS5 was playing this earlier. 
seems like a really good game. The Astros playroom I was playing last night, and it is honestly amazing. Like, when you get a PS5, play this all the way through. Super fun little game. It's not like the normal demos that they put on the consoles. This is like a, a full, like, I don't know, five hours of gameplay on here. Really fun. It really reminds me of, like, Mario. Red Dead Redemption 2, it's a PS4 game. I hope they upgrade it to a PS5 game uh, and put some more content in the online. But uh, super fun to play on the PS5. I was having some issues with my PS4. It was really slow on it because it's an older console. Fortnite, um, PS5, I'm downloading this right now. Uh, I never really liked the game that much, to be honest with you, for a long time because the, the building got a little too out of hand. But, uh, yeah, it's no building now so i figured i'd give it a try ps5 uh star wars jedi fallen order i had it on the ps4 another free upgrade you get when you get uh the ps5 you can upgrade all your games that are compatible uh that you have the upgrades to them uh ps4 version of call of duty warzone i don't know why they do it like this they really should have this as the ps5 because i'd really like to have uh on these new controllers there's adaptive triggers, and that's one thing you'll find playing that Astros uh, game that came on it. Really, really uh, cool. Way better than the Xbox controller. I really love the controller on this. I played this last night for a few hours. Didn't really get many games downloaded. Uh, but the triggers are really cool. Like, if you're playing... Uh, I was playing Borderlands 3 earlier, and depending on the gun the trigger adjusts to how stiff that trigger is and the slower you pull on it the harder it is and if you push fast on the trigger then it it, it just feels so cool there's a good kickback to it um i don't know how they do it some type of spring mechanism but right now like they're you know normal but if you go into a game that's compatible with it they're like super hard to push down it just feels really good uh another thing is this right here the microphone uh is down here but you can play all your audio through your TV through this speaker. I was doing it earlier today. Can't figure out how to get it to do it again, but you can do that. Um, and then I also got uh, Marvel's Spider-Man. Uh, I'm going to get the new one uh, soon. It's just, I really wish this was PS5, but it's PS4. I played half of it on the PS4, but then I got my Xbox Series X and kind of tossed my ps4 to the you know although in the closet for a little bit but now uh, i'm gonna finish this and then i'm gonna get the new one uh but there's a, a good amount of games that playstation has exclusive i'm gonna i'm gonna get some of those too um but grand theft auto's got the new update that's also ps5 grand theft auto has the adaptive triggers so it is borderlands enlisted does not um fortnite does I haven't tried this Jedi Fallen Order yet um, on here, but uh, I bet it on the PS4, but I, I'm sure it will have the adaptive triggers. Uh, it'll say in the game store every game that has it, and it's really good to look into that. The new LEGO Star Wars, I don't think it says anything about it, so it's it's good to see because it's a really cool feature, and you're gonna want uh, you're gonna want to take advantage of it. Modern Warfare definitely won't because it's a PS4 game, and then. Spider-Man won't either. Any PS4 game won't have that compatibility. But maybe in the future they will. But that's the console here. Second controller's charging. There's two USB ports in the back. I got one for the uh, USB stick for the headset, one to charge the headset, and then one to charge the controller. I'll probably buy a dock at some point. I also have Gran Turismo 7. Now, I like racing games, but I'm a Forza guy. I like Xbox uh, racing games, so I'm probably going to see... They just came in this bundle. I'm going to see if I can take that and exchange it for something else that I'm going to want, maybe the new Spider-Man. But, uh, yeah. So And this headset... I'll flip around real quick, if I can. So this is the PS5 headset. This is what it looks like on you. It's really, really comfortable, and the audio is just amazing, and you can adjust it on the... I've never seen that before. You can adjust all the audio on the PS5. Uh, you can also turn on a setting on here so that you can almost hear yourself talk in the headphones really well. You get, like, a little bit of a... You can hear yourself. 
which is pretty cool. Uh, really good for music too. You cannot connect it to your phone via Bluetooth, but you can go on Spotify on your PlayStation, walk around your whole house. The range is really good. Uh, you can also, there's, you can plug it in with uh, aux if you have a Samsung or an you know, Android phone. Apple doesn't have that, but um, yeah. And then you can also plug it in with a wired connection too. Battery life is really good. I played this for five hours last night with my controller and my headset. The controller had one bar left from factory from the PS5, so from like in the box. And same with the headset, it had one bar and they lasted for five hours on one bar. So definitely recommend, it's a good headset for the price point. Turtle Beaches are almost the same price for a wired headset that isn't that good, 80 bucks Canadian. So you're gonna be paying 60 bucks more, 70 bucks more for for this, and it's definitely worth it. Um, you can also change on here your um, chat the volume, how much you can hear the chat versus the game. Uh, you can change your volume, you can mute your mic by just clicking a button. You just click this in and out to mute. That's your volume monitor. This is what uh, your voice, making it so that you can hear your voice through the headset. Um, and this is the chat and game, how much, what the level you want. You want to hear more game, you're not playing with people, you can turn that up. Or if you want an even balance, you can put it to the middle. It all comes up on the screen. I like it roughly in the middle. It's really loud no matter what. These headphones are really good quality and really loud. Really comfy on the ears. They go around your whole ear and I have, you know, pretty big ears. So I'm pretty sure they'll fit anybody. Uh, yeah, battery life is good. Uh, controller battery life is really good. Uh, I like how I don't have to put Duracell batteries in, like, uh, AA batteries in my Xbox controller every day. So that's nice. But yeah, so I'm going to post another video, uh, probably after having this for a couple weeks and playing all the games on it. I can already tell you right now, I like it more than the Xbox. Uh, the Xbox... The inter user interface is all old. You can take an Xbox One, it looks the exact same. This is all new, it feels really nice, it's crisp. Um, it's nice having something, like a new feeling to a console that you pay a thousand dollars for and not just feel like you're going right back to your old one. So that's nice about this. Uh, Game Pass is a really good feature on Xbox, I like it. To be honest with you though, I don't use it as much as I thought I was going to. It's really nice when brand new games come out. But um, besides that, you're, I barely use it, and it's 20 bucks a month. PlayStation Plus, $12.99, I think, Canadian a month. And it's uh, you get two free games for the PS5 a month, and they're, you, all the games on the PS5 are newer. So you're getting two fairly new games, good games from good companies every month. So it's around the same, to be honest with you. And uh, there's I'll show you the game on PlayStation Plus this month. I'm going to download this after I beat Spider-Man, I think. Because I've already used up all the 800 gig storage. That's another downside on this, is that um, you only get 800 gigs, not a terabyte. So I just got Days Gone. It's a PS4 game, but I've, I've ne I never bought it and I really want to play that. God of War 2 is on here. Uh, but this game right here just came with it. It looks really good. It's a medieval game. The graphics look good. It's a PS5 game, and that's free. So we'll check that out at some point, too. I'll be streaming that soon, I'm sure. Also, for my streams, this camera isn't compatible. Um, that's just a generic camera, HD camera. But I have to buy a PlayStation camera for the PlayStation, which isn't isn't fun, but oh well, it is what it is. This is going to be my primary console now. I'm going to the PlayStation room again and uh, I'm gonna leave my Xbox out in the living room for the majority so but yeah thanks for uh, watching the video guys I really appreciate it and stay tuned to the channel and go watch me uh, stream on Twitch I'm gonna be streaming three times a week most likely and uh, yeah we'll be on a lot so thanks guys and uh, I give the PS5 so far uh, 9 out of 10